aside from working my full-time job, I also do side work for um, like a local school district down the street. And um, I have kind of a laundry list of stuff to do today. But one of them was to, I brought home one of their desktops. Um, I figured I'd give this a shot. But the problem we're having with this desktop back here is uh, it's, for some reason, we cannot log into it. Um, there was a name conflict. There was some weird stuff going on. And at this point right now, if I try to log in either with the, you know, to a domain or um, just locally, we can't log into it. They don't remember the administrator password. It's a very old computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I, I burned an Ultimate Boot CD back in 2009. And, um, oops, but uh, I don't remember if this one has the administrator re reset utility on it or not even the disk is even cracked yeah who knows we'll see but um we're gonna go ahead and boot this up and see if we can reset the administrator password locally and get logged into this thing so we can un i can unjoin it from the domain and then when i get back over there i can join it back up to the domain all right so as you can see here try a password that i think it is or even leave it blank at least this message says it's been disabled but um we were getting a different message before. I just had to uh, to do a little testing. There, a little issue. But anyways, we can't log in as administrator. So what we're going to do is go ahead and I want to blank out the password. Uh, so it's disabled. I want to re-enable it and I want to blank out the password. So basically what we're going to do is going to go ahead and restart. I'm going to go ahead and pop in the ultimate boot disk right now and kick off a restart. Okay, so one of our menu options here is Offline NT Password Registry Editor. Go ahead and select that. There's definitely some other options, but we're going to do the default, which it's already selected, number one, which is the uh, boot partition. That's where it, Windows is installed. Uh, step two, the path to the registry files. I'm going to leave the default. And next up is the path to the registry, or I'm sorry, which part of the registry to load. And I'm going to do the default, which is one, which is the password reset. And then um, what do you want to do with that? I want to edit user data and passwords. So option one, which is the default. And here's a list of user accounts, local accounts. I want the administrator. Here you can see it says it's disabled or locked. Um, so what we want to do is unlock it re-enable it and then reset the password. So basically what we got to do is enter the username. It's already set for administrator. So I'm going to hit enter. It says, do you want me to reset the failed account? Unset, disabled, and lockout? And set the password never expires option? Yes. Um, and it, here's, you can tell it what password you want to give it for now. It does recommend that you just blank it out. So I'm going to do asterisk right there. It says asterisk equals blank password. So and I'm going to hit enter and it says, do you really wish to change it? Yes. Um, at this point, I'm done, so I want to quit. I'm going to do exclamation mark. And at this point, I'm done as well, so I want to hit Q to quit. And now the next step is writing back changes. So it's asking you, are you sure you want to commit these changes? Yes. Make sure you hit yes on that. And now it's done. So do, you want, do I want to do a new run? No, I'm done. So I'm going to exit. Go ahead and take out the CD and reboot the computer. Okay, control delete. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to administrator. I am on the local computer, not the domain. I'm gonna leave it blank, hit enter, and we're logging in. So that's pretty much it. And now all I'm gonna do is, um, in this scenario here, is I'm gonna unjoin it from the domain because there's a problem with uh, uh, name conflict and all kinds of other stuff. So I'm gonna unjoin it, and then I'll bring it back to the school district, plug it in, rejoin it, and we should be good to go. We should be able to log back in as domain accounts and. Also, we do have that administrator. Oh, one last thing I do want to do is I want to change that local admin password from a blank password to uh, something a little more secure. You know how students are these days. I'm sure they'll try to, to log in and do whatever they can do. But anyways, that's a real quick tip on uh, recovering local administrator passwords. If you are locked out or you get a computer in your house that you need to work on and you don't know or the user doesn't know the local admin password, just... Uh, Quick way to reset it. Ultimate Boot Disk has that option. You can also just install the NT Recovery software on a disk, but since uh, you should have an Ultimate Boot Disk laying around or something similar that has this option, um, comes in pretty handy. All right, guys, later.